Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl coming at you from DirectionToSuccess.com. Do you have a goal? If not, watch this video because you and I, we're going to sit down and do a goal the right way. And I'm going to give you some hints that I have learned along the way. So let's do this. All right, you ready? Let's talk about creating your goals. The first thing I want to do before we get started, listen, just get yourself in a relaxed state. This is going to take some time. You know, this isn't going to be a five or 15 minute thing. Just try to put some time aside, find a quiet spot. You're just going to, first thing, just get in the kind of a relaxed kind of state, a grateful, you know, get your mindset to where it's grateful and the best thing I found too is when you're starting starting to write your goals, sorry about that, you want to think like a kid. Listen, this is the time where it's for you. You're gonna be greedy, right? This this time you have to dream. Don't set limits, all right? Don't stop, don't sell yourself short, and just go for it. So what I would do at this point is grab a piece of paper pencil pen whatever just start writing we're gonna and I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do in a minute or if you feel more comfortable on a computer just start typing just starts you know don't worry don't worry about money don't worry about where your current position you know status is right now don't worry about anything going on I get it I know it's hard to do you know we all have the day-to-day -day, but let's for right now you gotta take this serious Relax state, deep breath. This is fun. This is fun to do. So just before you even start writing, kind of, I don't know if you've even given your goals a thought, right? Just think about ideas first. You know, a vacation to Greece. Maybe there's a new car you want to buy. Maybe you want to upgrade a car. You know, one of my goals right now, it's a long-term goal. My five-year goal, I want to have... A Lamborghini Huracan and I want a McLaren if they still make them a McLaren 570s probably now my goal I'm not going to change it but I like the 600 LT but that's okay you know you're gonna these are the things you want to think about I don't have those kind of cars right now but that's you know you got to get your mind you got to open up your mind you got to let this go now just write down everything you can think of you know write or type what's ever easiest for you because what we're going to do is I'm going to show you later how we're going to arrange these goals because you want short-term goals like one-year goals and five-year goals but don't worry about that right now just write you're creating your goals just write them down like I said just get in a childlike state you know how kids go around just listen to them when they're playing in the yard or just talking right how they say yeah I'm gonna do this when I get older or I, I, I you know I want one of these I want one of those that's how you're gonna have to be right um, but this is an important time because this goal is gonna be something that you're gonna never ever again live without right and what we're going to do also is I would make, I didn't really do it in this presentation here, but I would even make some short-term goals, like six-month goals, right? Um, make those, you know, don't make them real easy to obtain, but just make them barely out of your reach because that's going to help you. And these should be working, sorry, these should be working toward your other one-year and five-year goals that you're going to write down. Because once you achieve these, then you know, yep, yeah, I've, I can do this you know I've got this and you're gonna feel that inside how nice it is to achieve goals I even make small tiny goals like I have every morning I grab this piece of a piece of paper like this right I write down three things that I am going to finish today two or three things not 10 not 50 not 20 it's two or three things. I used to write 10 things down and get none of them done. I used to write six things down, get none of them done. I used to write five things down, same thing, never finish them. 
Now I write two or three things on there. I make sure I get those two or three things done so I can check them off my list before I go to bed at night. You know, so th this will help too. These are just things, little tasks that I have to do to work, help me work towards my goal. And you have to be aware as you go through the day, are you working on your goal? Are you not working your goal? You have to keep that awareness, all right? That's one thing. All right, so with that being said, just pause this video, take an hour, you know, get, get something to drink, a wine, water, you know, whatever, whatever helps you just get in that state. Just that's the most important thing right now. Just write those down. Don't worry about order. Don't worry about if it's too hard, too easy. That's what you want. You want these goals to really excite and scare you at the same time. That's for all your goals. So pause the video, get this done, and then we'll move on to the next. So here is, well, here was, here is the next. So now I want you to think about your different goals too, right? Like I always have a couple goals going at once, maybe, you know, three to five goals. You know, I try to have a health goal, a learning goal, a goal in like a relationship, my business goal, my a financial goal. It's good to be all well-rounded, right? So, you know, your health goal, right? That might be something like, um, you know, just your diet, right? Maybe you look at your diet and like, if you're like me, I when I used to go into work every morning, I used to stop at and get a coffee and okay, I'm gonna lie, I was gonna lie and say donut, but usually it's two because one was in the car and then when I got to work, I had my other donut with my coffee. I used to do that every morning. I used to complain about not having enough money. I used to complain about be, be, having too much weight. I just stopped doing that. I had, I don't know what it cost. It was over five bucks. I don't remember now, it was a while ago. I had more money. I, just doing that one change, I, I started losing weight and I started feeling better, right? But just, but that was one of my goals, you know? It was just in a year. I gave myself a year, believe it or not. I'm gonna stop. That goal I did quicker, that one wasn't that hard. So I did add more goals to help me with my diet. You know, like I'm a, a very, you know, I don't watch everything I eat. You know, I'll still go out and yeah, sure. I'll have like a, you know, a couple wings in front of me or something, but you, you know, at least you're aware. You gotta be more aware, right? But anyways, enough of the health. I mean, you guys get it, right? A learning goal. Like it doesn't have to be going back to school. You could take a course online. Heck, you know, if you want to be good in your business and you just, you know, you need motivate motivation from somewhere, right? Find a coach, right? That's learning. Um, just learning anything online. I read books to help me become better as a person, and that is actually one of my goals. You know, I never was a type of person to read. You know, I like love learning, but I never picked up books and read. You know, I just, you know, so I knew, okay, I made it small. Like, I'm not going to say I'm going to read 20 books, you know, a year. I get it. I started with five, and I'm going to show you that goal a little bit later. What about a goal in relationships, right? I don't have one right now. My goal is to get into one, right? And so I have that down for a year as a year goal, and I'm working on that because I know I want to share my life with somebody, create memories, you know, do traveling. I'm in this great travel program. I, I can go like to Greece, you know, like providing got the tickets. I love to go to Greece. I don't need much notice. Take a week. I'm there, you know, whatever you need to get ready. If I can get it ready in that week, tickets, whatever you need. Greece, Italy, boom, boom, you know, over there for a week, come back. That type of stuff I love to do, right? Um, so that's more like travel. But anyways, that's kind of my goal. It seems far from a relationship, but, you know, that's no fun to do by yourself. I want to do it with somebody, build up memories. The next thing, I've got business goals. I have a lot of those. And matter of fact, I'm probably more business than anything else and that's not good right you want to try to keep these things well rounded and I have financial goals listen you know I never saved money really 
And now I'm learning, you know, I've got a coach, right? I have a business coach. And he goes, Lamar, and he started me on this stuff. He said, listen, you know, it's just not about learning how to do your business. You you know, you have to grow as a person. So that means you got to look after your health and your learning and your relationship and your finances too, you know. He basically told me in one word, word they're terrible, you know. And he says, listen, you got to save a certain amount of money. I'm like, okay, within... You know, that was like a short-term goal because that one I wanted to, that was like what I was saying earlier. I said, I that one I need to do, I have to do. So I made that a six-month goal. I said, I'm going to start saving 10% of everything I earn every month because I figure if I can't live off 90% of my income, I'm not going to be able to live off 100, right? I mean, there's no difference there. I think I did that backwards, but you get the idea. So all these, I mean... Your whole mind, I don't know how to say it enough, but your whole mind, your whole mindset will change won't change once you have goals. And I have other videos for helping you stay motivated, help you stick to your goals. There's a website for that. Um, another thing, you can get a partner. Uh, you doesn't, you know, it could be a friend. It doesn't have to be. I'm in a group. We get together. Sorry, we get together every, um, five days a week around 12 o'clock when I say get together we're online you know in a zoom meeting and we you know have accountability partners so I talk to my accountability partner once a week I talk to her hell she lives over in Singapore very close so there's exactly a 12 hour different time difference she's 12 hours ahead of me but I like doing like the mornings she likes doing the nights so I'm up around you know eight in the morning you know or something or oh, I'm up before that she it's her eight at night and that works out good we're not even in the same country but that makes it better I've got to know her, her pretty well so we can actually give each other a hard time when one of us doesn't make our goals and lately we've been putting money up and we've been putting it into a pot you know so if we both don't do what we said we're gonna get done for the week money goes in but little things like that you'll be surprised how motivated it keeps you right so we talked about financial goals oops sorry let me go back here so what are my you know what are some one-year goals you know like my thing is or probably like everybody income income money 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 and anybody that says money's not important it is you know, I, I don't want to just have money just to brag about. I want to have money because I want to share. I want to help other people. I've been doing that already, right? Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, I one of my year goals is I want to give 10% of my income to charity. And if I wasn't making enough money to do that, it wouldn't put me in that position. I want to help people. You know, that's one way I've been helping. I've been offering my time. I've been helping you know, like one example, I've been helping them build their websites. I don't, that takes a lot of my time. Well, you know, it takes some time. I don't charge them, but it's just, it's just giving back. You know, I try to go and be a better person every, every day or every month that goes by, right? So that's, you know, basically my financial goal. I want to get my body weight down to 160 pounds within the year you know and that's been working and that's hard you know there's days where in the middle of the day or something I'm just hot or tired or it's in the, you know I'm in the AC house and I don't want to go outside you know I, I walk I you know like I said I've been trying to eat better and my body weight's been coming down and I, I write that down because you know um like a monthly basis I just look like yep yeah, from last month what did I do like my goals I kind of look back from the last month and I'm going to explain how we can do all that in a second I just want to go through one year I'm going to go through my five-year goals and we're going to kind of come back to how you really want to write your goals down so then yep the third one there is yep I'm giving you know 10 percent of my income to charity you know and that's hard to do but I look at that as um, one thing I learned from uh, my coach is listen Lamar he came up with a plan for me how to do this right so we put our money away for our taxes every month they go into an account there's this whole it's not too hard of a plan but it makes sense we do taxes we do our you know our savings our char charity 
and then our our uh, well, our day to day sorry our general account you know so this will pay for our living expenses every month and then our business we have to put so much in so at the end of every month we we know what we earn and we divide all the that up the same every month it goes into these other accounts I skipped over a lot but that's a whole nother cool thing he taught me didn't cost me anything to do and I love having a plan it's organized and that's all that was part of one of my goals too like I said I I didn't even know at the time I'm, I'm telling you I had no coach nobody in my life and I said I have to get you know my finances straightened out like I don't know, like when I was running my business, I said, I don't know how much I have. I know I don't have anything left at the end of the month. I don't know how much I made that month, right? So this is when I said, well, I've got to sit down. I found this guy and he's helped me so much. He's been great, right? So then my five-year goals, like I want to have a Lamborghini Huracan and a McLaren 570S sitting in my garage. And I don't know, like, I didn't put down enough detail yet. I'm going to get into that in a minute. You know, I probably should put colors and year and everything, right? You want to be really exact when doing your goals. But I want to just finish up the five year and we're going to kind of go back. And then I want to be earning a million dollars a year. That's, you know, roughly $84,000 a month, right? So here again, I can quantify all that so I know if I'm making, you know, achieving that goal or not. You know, I want to be helping thousands of people growing their businesses, you know, because for me right now, I don't offer that kind of value. I don't, you know, I don't expect to earn a million dollars a year with what I do. I have to grow. And that's what, you know, as a person, because you can't just say you're going to make money. You have to grow. So you, that's what I'm saying. You've got to keep your goals all balanced, right? So if you want to earn this much money then you and you're you know you're not there right you have to grow and your income's going to grow right with it and you got to figure out how you're going to do that and that's all part of sitting down when you write your goals now speaking of writing goals it's all so very important how you write goals so for instance if you're telling me that you want to make ten thousand dollars a month okay don't say i'm going to try to make ten thousand dollars a month or i'm going to make ten thousand dollars a month because that's you'll never make it you'll always be trying you'll always be just almost you know getting to ten thousand dollars right um you want to say when you read your have your goal you want to read it as i am earning ten thousand dollars a month if that was one of your goals you can't say i'm making ten thousand dollars a month because you don't make money no, hardly any of us make money the only people that make money are the mints right that's it we don't make money we earn money you you i earn money so the way you go about writing these things too and a lot of times it helps putting words in saying instead of saying i you know, like you can see here, I am earning $1 million a year, you know, $84,000 a month. Probably for me, it would be better written, I am easily earning $1 million a year, right? Just seeing, you know, just hearing those words over and over really help your subconscious. It sink in a lot better. You know, you have want to have more positive type words when you're reading your goal. And speaking again of reading a goal, I read my, I have, um, I don't have them with me there in my, the other room, but I have three goal cards. They're just, you know, business size cards. I carry them everywhere with me. It's another thing my coach has taught me. And I read my goals, you know, at minimum twice a day, once in the morning, and I read them at night. And you should just don't read them, you know, line by line. You have to, Again, you want to get into a, a gra grateful state, a state of gratitude, right? And you want to have read your goal with feeling. I've learned to storytell my goals, right? I actually videotape myself. Most of them I don't watch. Sometimes I'll listen to them back, you know. But I, I got in the habit of just 
you know, just really taking the time, reading the goal, like saying, yep, I have a Lamborghini Huracan, you know, um, I don't remember like the, the bright green color right now in the Huracan, it escapes me, yep, it's bright green, you know, and I'm going through just all the details, all the, you know, where do I got carbon fiber, and I got to back over the, the hood on the, you know, front bottom spoiler, you know, um, and I go through like that, the McLaren, I can't, they got this purple color I love. I Again, I can't remember what that is, but I go on to the McLaren website. I look at them. I've got a, you know, I've got a picture of it, an image on my computer, but I really want to print it out, you know, get like a storyboard and hang it up on my wall in my office here somewhere. You know, my Lamborghini, all these things, because you've got to visually see this stuff. So whenever you read your goals, you know, try to read them with emotion because that's going to help your subconscious and help you achieve these goals much faster. When I first started, like my smaller goals, my six-month goals, I probably read those maybe three to five times a day. I pick those up, but I look at my goals every day, every, every day without exception. And when you read them, you have to Write them out as if you already have the goal, like I was saying before. So that's just going back a little bit, right? We talked about having a, a your one-year goals. You can have as many as you want, but try to keep them well-rounded. Don't make them all like, you know, one way or the other, like health or business or anything like that, right? Just like I was saying, one year five year just kind of keep them all well rounded and i have not you know i just want to talk real quick i'm sorry i'm just kind of skipping over stuff if you set up a year goal and you don't achieve it you know don't be disappointed i have plenty of goals i haven't achieved right from the time i have it set but what i do just extend that goal out again don't change the goal do not if you haven't you know, so I put down I'm earning $180,000 a year. If I haven't achieved that in one year, I'm just going to move that out to the following year. And you know what I do then? I look at how I've got to work harder or smarter, whatever it's going to take me. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to give up. You know, I'm not giving up. That's one thing I've, I've already gotten used to setting short term goals and reaching those. And like I was saying before, a lot of times I don't know how I'm going to get there. You know, I write the goal down at the time I write it. It's kind of scary. Saying, I honestly don't know how I'm going to achieve a certain goal. You know, like I made a certain amount of money this year. And I said, you know what? When I first wrote it out, I'm looking at the goal. Like I had a lot of faith in myself. I kept saying, I'll never do this, right? But I'm like, whoa, you know, totally the wrong attitude. First thing I started doing is straightening out the old attitude, you know, and just say it. And then things started happening. People, you know, I help people. I had somebody call me and, you know, they helped me with some stuff. I mean, in my business. And I'm like, wow, it, it just out of the blue. I'm telling you. I, I heard people saying that. I'm like, no, you're crazy. But if you keep going down this road, you have goals. And you, you stick to your goals and you read them every day. I'm telling you, they're going to come true. Don't set these outlandish goals, right? Like, you know, you got to be a little, you know, you got to be um, a little bit logical when doing this, right? So what I'm saying is, so the most, if the most you ever made, the most you ever made in your life is $5,000 a month. I don't know. It's just some number I'm picking. And you want to make $50,000 a month. You're not going to do that in a year. That's a big jump. Your mind's not, you know, you as a person, your mindset's not grown that far. You know, maybe if you're making five, set your goal to 10 right and what and you got to think about that what's that going to be like at 10 but you're going to have to change as a person like i know like i said i had a coach in my life he's helped me so much he's changed me like where i'm at now i didn't think i'd ever ever be there you know it just makes a difference to help you with your goals like you gotta read books you know, you got to read motivational books. You've got to watch movies that are motivational. You can't sit there and watch Netflix like, uh, you know, whatever. Just something that's not going to help you towards your goal. You can't be around people that don't have goals or pretty very negative. You, you know, 
like if you want to increase your income, say from five to ten thousand a month, you have to be hanging around people that make a hundred thousand dollars a month. I'm serious. You got to see, you got to feel what they do. You got to learn what they do. It's got to be tenfold. It really does. So if you're making a hundred thousand dollars a month, you have to hang around or be around people that are making a million a month. It's got to be tenfold because that's the only way you're going to grow. You know, if you're hanging around people, if you can't, get on YouTube. You know, try to do the next best thing. Get on YouTube. Find people with channels that are driving. I, I watch a, a few channels that they're driving Lambos and they're driving these McLarens. You know, I watch them because I don't know anybody on a day-to-day -day basis that have those type of cars. They've got nice cars, but not these really super cars, right? And that's just my goal I don't know I think the journey is more the success than actually achieving it in some cases right because I know like I've been awake at night not worrying but working on sales funnels with my business and I was telling myself oh, I'll never understand this I'll never get this I'll never get it. of course I wasn't but you know what the next day I get out on my walk when I'm doing five or six miles my whole my brain that whole time is thinking I'm going to do that sales funnel I'm going to get that sales funnel done and that's it I just come back and I concentrate on that just fixing your mind having the right mindset when you go to do things it's huge it's a huge plus I'm sorry to rant on this long and I really probably didn't get to enough of structuring when writing goals but look at examples um, Tony Robbins is a good one right um, Jim Rohn is another good one you know like just search YouTube for Tony Robbins setting goals Jim Rohn setting goals if you just type in setting goals you're gonna find these hell you don't need somebody one person to tell you you probably wanna look it up and see for yourself right but like I said if you have any questions leave them below and if you have any uh, ideas on goals and how to set them let me know that as well. I know a lot of people use a storyboard. I've seen that. That's where I want to start going because you have to visually visually see this stuff. Like That's why I have my goal card. I pull it out and read it and that's when I do my storytelling. And I, I have this older gentleman. We get on a Zoom meeting, oh, not daily, probably three times a week and we go back and forth and we're first embarrassed about reading our goals. Now we, we both, that's what we do. Oh, you know, like I said, three or four times a week. And, you know, we both take turns, and it's great. It's really good. I used to be embarrassed about, you know, telling people about my goal. But, hey, you know, if they laugh, they just don't get it, right? It's as simple as that. I've just known I've, you know, reached a few of my short-term goals recently, and I feel great, and it's pumped. I'm pumped. It's moving me up another notch, right? I'm growing as a person. My awareness is expanding. It's all good. On that note, we'll see you and thank you for bearing with me this long in this video. I should give something away at the end, but I can't. Like I said, if you have any comments, questions, leave them below and I'll be glad to answer them. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions at all, leave a comment in this video, I love answering comments and I reply back to each and every one of them. And also, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button.